Welcome back dancers, we are back at Image Ballroom Dance Academy in Dallas, Texas. My name is Rangel and today I'm going to be helping you with the foot tracing in the Latin dances. Let's get going. Alright dancers, let's continue with another important subject. This is your foot tracing. It's very important. This is the foundation of your dancing. So we're going to start with a rumble basic. So if you go with a side step, the first thing I would like you to do is I would like you to be very clear that you're standing on your left foot and you're, you're going to produce a lot of pressure with the floor and contact, even though that your right foot doesn't have any weight. So I want you to still compress down. We're going to transfer the, the weight to the left. We're going to do our hip saddle and rotation. And from go scraping the floor, we're going to go with the inside edge of our right foot. We're going to place the foot down and from here we're going to use now the left foot to push the weight to the right. Now once the weight is transferred to the right, what we need to do is we need to not pick that foot off the floor, but also be aware of how we articulate, how we bring with our ankle and we brush and scrape the floor to touch our standing leg. Keep in mind that this in a faster speed of the music is not going to be so articulate and you don't have to stop, but you should be using this as a concept to create a better brushing action and better usage of your feet. So one more time, let me turn my back to you. We're going to be on the left leg. We're going to use the scraping to take a side step. Once we transfer our weight, we're going to be using the inside edge of our left foot to bring the feet together. You're going to notice that my ankle is stretching forward with my shoelaces. And from here, I'm going to be ready to go for a check forward walk. So I place my foot, again I have the pressure with the floor, I place the foot, my back right foot is going to have five toes on the floor. I'm going to go rock partial weight, replace back and I'm going to use again five toes to transfer and push my weight back. As I rotate my right hip to pull my left foot in, I want to make sure that I Again, scrape the floor and use that tension so I don't lift my foot, which is going to also put you ahead of the beat and you might speed up your dancing. So I use that scraping and from here again, if you notice, my ankles are touching and I'm going to be ready for another side step. Using, if there is a silence, you should use the kind of a sound with the floor. Scraping the floor transferring your weight to the left. Let me turn again my back to you. So scraping the floor, pushing the weight to the left, and again, making sure that from here, when you collect, you're using the inside edge of your right foot this time, touching your left ankle with your right one, and using the pressure to take a step back. Now the front ankle is gonna be using uh, connection with the floor, you roll your hip, you replace forward and from here notice my back foot is very sturdy, there is no wobble and I'm going to be thinking of swiveling my foot to drill my right heel down into the floor. From here when I'm done with the weight transfer I scrape the floor, I use the resistance and I'm back to square one to start and repeat the basic. I hope this video was helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we're going to see you in our next video.